Today, you're about to witness the sound of what happens if I close all the tabs on one of these things. In three, two, one. Ooh. Whoa. Ah. Oh. 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 Whoa. Oh. 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 Oh, I are boobies! Uh... But unlike now, back then I had a destiny. And that destiny was to show small myths that they mattered in this world. Despite sucking brain fart ass, they suck. I had the responsibility and the duty to make sure that they don't hurt their own feelings by Going to their game and looking at their thing, and this is all the same thing. I don't know how to make this a better, but uh, it's gonna take a lot of scrolling to do this. I, it's always the scrolling, I always end up scrolling. There's also gonna be a fly in the background because I closed the window. Fly! I got things on my finger. Where'd it go? Where do you? There you are! Come on! Get on my finger! No! You don't know where you're going! Get in my- <laughs> Land on me, you st- uh. This is Small Myth Interviews 2. The second video of my longest series. It originally wasn't called this, but I dedicated the name after Verisum. In this video, I get to meet Windows Vista Project, also known as Verisum, who tells me that his car was crashed in a tree, and then he spammed his keyboard, and then he quit. Then he took me to another game. This is the other game. Then he tells me to- <coughs> Kiss the bacon man. Then he kisses him. This was when it was okay to kiss people in the game. It was important to kiss the bacon man because. <laughs> this was two years ago. Then he left. And he never came back again. Every time I joined him, he'd quit. And I wanted to join him because it was an interesting fellow. It's not every day somebody just randomly kisses a bacon man. Then one year later he contacted me and found my channel then he said it was cool. And that was one of my first biggest fans. Being the sexy- Do people not subscribe to me? Ah. Being the small fellow that I am. I do not have many fans, but the ones that I do are very local, and they've been here for a long time. They're always the ones that comment, and say good things, and compliment me, so I don't feel bad about myself, and stop making crap on the internet, and survive the apocalypse by cheating. Now, at times I end up, um, cooperating with other people to make a thing, to make a project. I don't know what kind of project I'm making. Mainly it's associated with myth hunting. You go play crap together and it's all fun and happy and you, you have friends and you're pretending crap and... Uh, it's so wholesome. But that doesn't mean it's a fan creation. That just means it's a co cooperation. You know, I'm just playing with somebody. They never really made a video about me. Unless I made a video about them. But there was one person who made videos about me. And that was ho Honestly, when I found out that he had almost beat me and subscribers, I was actually quite frightened. Honestly, that was... <laughs> this is Varisum's channel. He makes things. You know, just silly, silly recordings, low edited, low frame rate, and highly nostalgic. Reminds you of 2017, doesn't it? And he plays Roblox and he does silly things. And then he plays stuff. Then he makes silly th <coughs> things again. But he was the first one who ever made a video about me without making a video about him in return, except for today. This was when I was hunting Robe, also known as Future Dark Meanings. He was a myth that was gone. He's no longer with us. He didn't die, he just stopped mything. Like every small myth does. This is Robe's game. He joined me and he we're hunting together now. This was the trap door that we we're supposed to go down. It's code controlled. I opened the code, but the obby was broken. But because editing was a pain in the ass, because I have to do it over and over and over again. Yeah, you know, much better typing than he is. This episode was basically useless, so I just scrapped it for extra storage. I mean the episode was quite boring, it was quite useless, and it was quite repetitive, it didn't go anywhere. I mean I only saw of did it because it gave me views. Then he proceeds to post a lot more goofy videos. There is an evil hacker, and he is hacking, but not too many. 
Oh, he shot the hacker. And he, 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 wait. He slapped the hacker. And he, 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 um, he, um, wait, wait. The, the game is slow. <laughs> The hacker. He uses the Roblox according functions. If you join a Roblox game, press escape. There's gonna be this little circle thing and you can press it and it records a video and it puts you in a video in a certain file. But nobody ever really uses it because the recording is ass. Uh. I didn't do this with my YouTube. I just started off with Windows G, Xbox, screen recorder. Screen capture footage. Every Christmas I make a Christmas special. This is one of these Christmas specials. This video is actually quite entertaining. You know, I was just gonna talk about Christmas and how lonely I am and crap. And then all of a sudden, oh, they joined me. Such good friends I have. And then I told them how to pick up women because, you know, I am very... <laughs> I am... <laughs> We did a psychological exam, then we did a physical exam. And then the item is not currently for sale because the account has not been charged. Then I make them kiss. I make them compliment each other. Then they... Then they... Wait... Then they... No! When do they start kissing each other? Oh, this isn't hot at all! Then he played this game again. You can tell us the actual guy because he... he ki nobody else does this. This is a one-in-a-kind thing. Versum then proceeded to make more highly edited content. This is a slideshow anim- uh. This is a slideshow animation. Make sure to like the video, or else he's not gonna post anymore. Make sure to like my video, or else I'm not posting anymore. Honestly, this is a video that I like. This is a very creative video. This music's probably... This is a very creative video. I honestly like this because pigeons are a very underrated creature. He proceeds to censor all the bad stuff in people's faces because, you know, it's all bad and it's... You know, he, he has to make a living out of this. See, because, you know, pigeons, like, poop on people. <laughs> and it's all white on the floor. <laughs> Proceeded to make it even better by making a part two on it. It even comes with an opening, an introduction, a slideshow. See, I couldn't even think of doing this. See this? I can't make crap like this. This is one of a kind. You see, the video explains a deep moral, you know? It's funny and all, cause like the pigeons poop whenever they want, wherever they want to, but uh, come on. Do you really have to poop all over the Oprah house? Then he proceeds to make another fan-made video of me. This is him and me. I am looking at my f- He's a big fan of underrated, old-timey content. Now, this is actually quite ingenious, really, because nobody really makes talks about the past. Everyone sort of talks about the future. This was a, this is a visualization, a simulation of how it's like if he made videos in 1994, which cannot be true, because Roblox was made in first of December. Shirt, first of December. Now, honestly, this one's one of my most favorite ones. I'm glad that he still has the video up. It starts! There's me, and there's Marisam, and he's gonna win. And then there's f the shark, and he there's us, and we're, we're gonna drop in there. We're gonna go, <laughs> And then there's gonna be a part two, because it's gonna be good. In better context, there's me, and there's Varisum. He took my, my PFP, because it's cool. If we have to, like, fight, and if we win, we get the island. Then, then he called the shark calls a game, Fortnite Battle Royale, but he can't, like, add all the other characters, because, you know, editing is not a very easy thing to do. It's actually quite impressive, because he made this. Typically, when I make, like, memes and edits, it's only, like, 10 seconds, but he completely doubled it. S77, 2008, 2016, 2020, 2020. And it's actually quite accurate, because I made my character in 2016. Digital he also taught me how to do hashtags. See, this is a intellectual fellow, alright? This is a musical genius. Combines the most goofiest of topics and combines them in a manner most delicate. This is like a new level of shit posting, but it's 
good. And it doesn't even take like curse words and swearing and inappropriate humor. Cause it's the fish. That's just pictures of his character. <gasps> yes, it has all the Eagle Knit characters and the Eagle Knit lore and the Eagle Knit window and his girlfriend and his fish. You never thought of having all your friends and there, there, there's fish. You just have you, you just think of your friends, but nobody thinks about the fish. Yeah, honestly, has so many videos, so it's hard to like credit every single thing he made. I'll link his account in the description so you can check out this masterpiece content. I was playing FNF. I don't think I was recording even. I was just playing it because why not? Will he get a strike or claim? Let's see. Hmm. How? There. There's no audio. And then he talks to Holocrum. And that goes on for like another 10 minutes. I can no longer play Friday Night Funkin' because I got like veins on my hands. Because of that constant. <laughs> my veins all day, they, they all collide with each other and it feels all goofy and it starts to tickle. Honestly, I do not know what's going on inside this fellow's mind, but I love it. This is him and me. We're kissing the bacon man. He upgraded the place. He made it all Christmassy. This is 2021, by the way. There was like that scary Japanese Sonic and he was like, Ehh! and then he killed us. I've never seen in my entire life any political content that does this. Predicting future flags. This is one of a kind, honestly. You know this is good because, you know, it the it Italians, they, they love their eggs. And if you're more of a fan of the gameplay gamer types, he even made a live stream. He's going, he's running, he's running, he's running, he's jumping, he's jumping, he's capturing, he's capturing, he's spying, he's spying, he's jumping, he's spying, he's jumping, he's... Who's pressed like on the streaming? Um. I press like on the stream. <laughs> And he credits his friends like a tr proper gentleman. I don't know how to credit my friends. But I don't need to because I don't have any friends. <laughs> Honestly, as an interesting fellow, I think you should look, check out his content. I almost, And I think I'm a interesting fellow and I think you should check out my crap. Because I have to scroll down and I, I um... Wait, wait. And I lost two subscribers today and I also lost my bed. And I also lost my fly. I don't know where my fly went. I mean, it was supposed to land on my finger, but he disappeared. Do you ever feel like life just takes away the things that you like? And not the things that you don't like? Like... They took my bed. They took two of my subscribers. But they didn't take my virginity.